Dog Amadi, everybody. Hey, uh, this is a big day today. I'm off to get the dentist uh, appointment, and uh, she's going to have my crowns ready for me. So I'm really excited about that, and uh, hopefully they fit well and everything's good. So I just got to go outside and get me a taxi, and it's noisy out here. Going to get a taxi and uh, take a short ride over to the mall and uh, see the dentist. Hey guys. Morning. I get a taxi? Yeah. Okay. Allez. Taxi. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Thank you. That was easy. I like these little restaurants along here. Tried a couple of them. Bo's Coffee. We got some slackers back here relaxing with their feet on, uh, up and their shoes off. Making themselves at home. Okay, this is the moment of truth. How's my teeth today? How's my crowns? chair for a while okay guys this is it it's finished what do you think smile an everlasting smile a smile can bring you near to me don't ever let me find you gone cause that would bring a tear to me world has lost its glory let's start a brand new story now my what love did you say <laughs> what did you say thank you for your patience <laughs> that was fun just now leaving the maze great place to get your money exchanged uh, the rate today is really good for the u.s dollar it's uh, 51.35 very high so it's a really great rate and uh, I got, uh, I'm going to pay her uh, my office visit today for the dentist uh, in pesos and in credit card. So for the four crowns, um, all the work she did took about three visits. And I think they look pretty good. I feel good! Really nice. And then she did uh, eight, uh, six on the lower about a year ago. But... These uh, four were a total of uh, 20,000 pesos each, which is $400 each. So there's $1,600 or about 80,000 pesos. Uh, the, I'm going down right now to go ahead and pay, pay for the whole thing. So it's uh, really nice too. Also, this dentist has a, um, they have a lab right there. Uh, like a couple blocks away but when they bring the uh, crowns over to have them uh, applied they have the guy from the lab there to kind of tweak it in case there needs to be any mild uh, uh, polishing or uh, any kind of reduction work or whatever needs to be done they're there to uh, take care of it so uh, I didn't have to make a, another appointment just to get it perfect so yeah, very happy to have it done, yeah. That feel good! So, love it. Oh my God, so, yeah, here we go. Hello. Hello. This is the brains of the operation up here where they do all the planning, all the planning, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is awesome. I got the uh, one of the uh, senior uh, dentists here, and uh, your name? My name is Dr. Ray Amaris. Okay, and you've been here for um, how long working? Um, since the start of the company, uh, that's about uh, 2008. So that's about 10 years, almost 10 years, uh, this year. Okay. Years. Yeah. Okay, and your name? Shaila Entero. Uh, and you're the office manager? Administrative or? officer, sir. Okay, great. So you've been here about a year, right? Uh, four years, this coming May. Okay. 
Right. So what can you uh, tell us about uh, the dental in the Philippines compared to um, the perception people have in other countries uh, about uh, them just making the decision to have their uh, dental work uh, done outside their comfort zone, their own country, and, and venturing out to do something crazy like I did. I had all my dental work done here in, uh, <laughs> at uh, Green Apple Dental. Well, uh, first of all, uh, number one, uh, the fir first thing here is that uh, we all know that Cebu is one of the travel destinations here in the Philippines. And most of our clients here in Green Apple are, you know, foreigners. And then these are, these are people who would want to have, um, want to have a vacation or a holiday. At the same time, they want to make most of the time also of doing some dental treatment. So uh, Cebu is very strategic because we have all the, the beaches that you know most of the, the foreigners here. Now the, the good thing also here is that we also have the best dentists here also and that well we boast here in Green Apple because we are the first dental clinic to be ISO certified in quality management system. So the quality of treatment that we provide to our clients here is similar to the ones that you get outside the Philippines. How about the training uh, aspect of it and education aspect? It does, some foreigners might be questioning the, the uh, difference in education or qualifications and mm -hmm. uh, sanitation and uh, sterilization and all those things. No, uh, in here in Green Apple Dental, uh, we, in terms of uh, sanitation or hygiene, uh, we strictly follow what is recommended by the ISO certifications in the, for quality management system. Mm -hmm. So we follow the, the specific rules in sanitation and then at the same time in terms of the trainings, uh, most of us dentists here are highly trained. Uh, we have uh, Every year we do some trainings. Actually, we, we attend trainings, and then at the same time we we also having clinical conference. We also have clinical conference because that is uh, we are bound to that because of the quality management system mm -hmm. that we have uh, be, because of the ISO certification. So, so we do that, and uh, our we also have some consultants here that uh, who are. Um, they are diplomate already uh, in their uh, in their skills. I mean, in their uh, in their field yeah. in, in in dentistry. Mm -hmm. Like uh, we have from an, from orthodontics from International Association for Orthodontics, and then we also have some consultants for implants and periodontics for gum specialists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's why. That's the good thing about being here in Green Apple Dental. The quality, we also have the consultants to help with us. Uh, the dental staff are very much trained in terms of customer service and uh, yeah, because we are you know, certified with the ISO quality management system. <laughs> so I agree with him. Uh. <laughs> well, what have you observed since uh, you've been here a year? Anything you can add that uh, makes it uh, uh, special or um, something that foreigners should feel comfortable with? Yeah, uh, so in, I've been dental assistant before, before I became administrative officer. So we cater our patients uh, with value and we treat them as like our own families. So we serve them with care, with love as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, yeah, we can, you can get uh, high services here in Green Apple. Mm -hmm. And you will be satisfied in our works. Mm -hmm. One of the things I, I notice uh, as a patient is what you just touched on is the, the care aspect of it. And uh, honestly, I've had at least uh, seven or eight different dentists over the years mm -hmm. uh, in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. uh, in Northern California, and in, in Reno, Nevada, mm -hmm. uh, numerous offices. 
and um, there is a, it seems to be very money driven and not as much care uh, and and uh, you know even to the point sometimes of not listening to the patients what they want and being kind of bullying and one of the things that really uh, is impressive to me is the care aspect of it uh, and and uh, that's a wonderful thing really because it's a, when a dentist is working on you they're in your mouth for a few hours sometimes and uh, it's best that you like the guy or girl that you know have have a rapport and and don't feel like you're being bullied by somebody that's exactly. that has such a sensitive uh, place in your <laughs> in exactly. your mouth you know i think that's inherent already to the filipinos i think so in too. terms of care mm -hmm. uh, we all know that we in terms of uh, uh, the Filipinos provides a lot of nurses. Well, that's true. That's true, right? Nursing. Uh, and nursing. Uh, uh, and house, what do you call it? Um, hospice care. Um, correct. Yeah, uh, those kind there's of also some midwives and even some doctors who, yes. who are, are already uh, working out of the country. And then we know the, the level of care that they provide to the patients. So I think that's inherent from the Filipinos. And then we just add some touch of you know uh, warmth on there that's why when you're here it's it's really kind of different mm -hmm. it's more personal and um, yeah the, the quality is there so I think it's a, it's a whole packet package already <laughs> now a question that a lot of foreigners have is um, the price the price difference in the in the states or in Europe and other first world countries they the uh, they're used to paying way, way more um, uh, for their dental services, whatever it may be. And I have a question for you. Um, what, what do you think is the reason why there's such a substantial savings here in this, in these, uh, in countries like Philippines here or maybe Thailand, other countries? Why is it such a uh, cost uh, savings? Because um, you know you're still all professionals and do you think it's just that they're overcharging in America because of uh, the lawsuits or, or uh, there's some reason why they're overcharging so much well um, it could be one of the reasons but although I'm not really really very familiar why it's very high there but I, it, I think it has something to do with the cost of living on the, on the area in the area of, of, of practice so, uh, well, here in the Philippines, well, in terms of cost of living, it's not that high as compared to, let's say, for example, in the States or whatever, or any area. So, and uh, I would like to uh, specify or I would like make an, uh, make an importance on that since it's the cost of living is uh, not that high, so they can make other plans. Concessions. Like, yes, concessions. So aside from, that's why well, they can have dental treatment at the same time, and that's why they also want to have a holiday break at the same time. So, so the the what do you call this? The the treatment costs that you have there can be divided here as a treatment cost at the same time spending a holiday. So you can have both. Well, one of the things too, I imagine, is that uh, if they, if the Filipinos tried to charge the same as they do in the states, you wouldn't have very many customers <laughs> exactly. because uh, the wages aren't uh, nearly the same. So that's the thing that the uh, actual wages uh, have to keep it down. And also, I don't think you have the um, uh, in, in America. There's more people that have the insurance, and the insurance yes. drives costs up because yes. that that mitigates the cost to the consumer. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I think that insurance uh, in the dental field and as well as in the medical field makes everything so expensive over there. Exactly. It drives the costs up. But if they had to pay, like in, in the Philippines, most Filipinos, I think, have to pay cash for their dental, don't they? Yes. I mean, do they all have insurance? They have some, um, that pays anything, really? There is an insurance. There are insurances. Insurance company here offers dental uh, coverage, mm -hmm. uh, but it's not as... Well, it's for just for basic, yeah. uh, very minimal, nothing for wow. major works. So that is why, yeah, oh, it, yes. it can only be limited to very, very, very basic uh, services. Yeah, and then, and then you, checkups for. 
And then you find a lot of uh, Filipinos going around without, with a lot of missing teeth. Because that's the funny thing is, uh, I know in the villages in the Baho, where my wife is from, uh, there's so many people, they get a bad tooth, they just pull it out. Mm -hmm. But then on the other hand, you see all these uh, Filipino teenagers running around with full sets of beautiful braces, and they only cost five, six, seven hundred dollars total. But in the United States, it costs six thousand dollars. So in the United States, you don't see as many kids with braces. But in the Philippines, all the kids, even though it's a lower wage economy, um, they they so many kids can. Aff for some reason, they can afford to have dent, uh, braces. Mm. It's strange because I see, I notice the difference. I see kids all over with braces, mm -hmm. and I go, "How can they afford it? Because we can't afford it in the states. Because in the states, it's six thousand dollars. That's a lot of money." Exactly. And uh, and then I think some of it are not covered by its insurance. No, no. I mean, no. You, yeah. No. Because uh, it's a special field. I think. Yeah, yeah. It's a specialty thing. Yeah. So. So. Uh, Anyway, I, I'm a fan of uh, international uh, medical, and uh, and I just uh, want, I'm just so happy you took the time to, to share from your perspective uh, as a dentist that's been here, senior dentist. Thank you. And uh, uh, so congratulations on a great practice you guys are involved in here. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, thank okay. you for this. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right. And, and you know, uh, I, I want to share this with the subscribers so that, you know, they can, um, if they, when they come to this, to the Philippines, at least get a checkup and uh, and uh, check and visit. Um, you're going to be going to Ayala Mall anyway. Yeah. So I uh, come in for a cleaning and checkup and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so thanks so much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, you thank too. You, sir. Okay, thank appreciate you. your time. Let's go to the elevator. Let's go down and have dinner. Six o'clock in the evening, we're going to have a nice buffet at the Park Lane International Hotel. Yeah, it's, it's nice to, to have dinner right now, 6 p.m., because the food is fresh. And we are the first, so we'll see. Yeah, plus there's the biggest selection right now. All right, let's go eat. Let's see if there's any seats for us available. I love this time of night. Hardly anybody's here. Except the manager is here. He's pretty nice most of the time. He's pretty nice. Okay, when you first come into the buffet, they got uh, they got coffee and beverages. They got a really nice coffee machine here. Make uh, espresso, cappuccinos, hot chocolate, black coffee, coffee latte, foam milk. Uh, very nice. Uh, Brianna really likes the uh, hot chocolate, of course. But then they have various different uh, drinks here. Um, you got four seasons, which is like four different kinds of fruit ju juices. Oh, look, they got a set up here for the sushi. Lots of sushi already, right? Yeah. Oh, you got some um, tuna? Tuna and salmon. Oh, nice tuna and salmon tonight. Nice. I'm going to have some of this. They got calamari. And it's, it looks like it's fresh. Mm -hmm. They have a little pizza too. Mm, that's some kind of lechon. Good evening, how are you? What is this over here? Is this kind of like a foe? Uh, you just uh, build your own recipe. Recipe for a soup dish? Yeah. A kind of a soup dish, right? Yeah. You want to try it? Do you want to try it? Uh, okay, let me try one. What about spaghetti? Um, see, Brianna request spaghetti. Oh, spaghetti, huh? I really enjoy this buffet. We've probably eaten it uh, six or seven times already. So good. Oh, look at this. Some kind of a bacon dish here. Okay, I'm going to dig in and have some of this right now.
not even finished yet. I got so much food to put on here. Yeah. What are you gonna have? Uh, this is like pork with pineapple. Yeah? What is this? Oh boy, you're gonna have to give me some. Can you put some on for me? Lumpia. Yeah. Yeah, get some lumpia and whatever else is there. It looks good. When you tend to lift the time, let's explore our love. We'll leave the world behind. Can you feel me, baby? Oh, boy. This is not recommended for children. Okay, now for a little dessert. Coffee, espresso, and a cappuccino. Good dinner, Bria? Yeah, now I feel kind of sleepy. Oh, okay. Sleepy? All right, let's go. I feel good! Smile, an everlasting smile. A smile can bring you near to me. Don't ever let me find you gone, cause that would bring a tear to me. world has lost its glory let's start a brand new story now my love right now there'll be no other time 